To make a good civic app, you need more than just the ability to code. You need to understand this very complex issue. You need to understand how do Chicago public schools work or how does this particular part of city policy actually happen. It takes much more than any developer can figure out on their own. And so because of this diverse crowd, we can put these teams together and make really, really powerful apps that wouldn't be possible otherwise. My name is Derek Eder. I'm an open data web developer, and we are in 1871 in the Merchandise Mart at the Open Government Hack Night. I started working on this stuff back in 2011, and the city released a bunch of new data on the city's data portal, mostly because we got a new mayor, and that mayor decided to release some open data. And so we thought this was pretty interesting, kind of juicy. So we decided to use our web development skills to just play around with this data and see what, if we could make sense of it sort of as citizens. And eventually we had so many apps that we decided we needed to call ourselves something. So we just on the spot decided to call ourselves Open City. Sort of the core thing that tied everything together was that all these apps work with open data. They're about open government or transparency uh, issues for the city of Chicago and Cook County. And they're also, all the code we write is open source. And sort of with this common theme, we kind of kept publishing more apps. And also we're doing this stuff for free. So this is sort of stuff, hobby projects that we're doing really just on nights and weekends. And that situation of sort of having to, to come together with a group of people on a recurring basis outside of work, this is really hard to schedule everybody. So we decided to say, all right, let's just start meeting at the same time and same place every week and just get work done. And so that was the, the genesis of the OpenGov Hack Night. Um, as part of this, we wanted to, to create an app that explains about crime data. So the idea is, if you can just put this data out there, it actually comes back and helps government in the end, right? And we had this community of people who were already really interested in this stuff. And so when the data was finally opened in a way that was more accessible, sort of just this flood of people kind of came out of the woodworks and were, some people were already ready to dive in and, and do new things with the data that wasn't as easy to get to before. But then new people like me came in uh, because all of a sudden it wasn't a huge chore to get all the data. It was sort of just sitting there in front of us to do something with, begging to get something built out of it. And now, you know, from four, it is now closer to 40 to 50 every week. And we get people from all over uh, the spectrum. We have, again, a lot of developers and a lot of designers, but we've picked up a lot of researchers, a lot of policy wonks, a lot of journalists, and just really a wide variety of people. And they all have sort of a general interest in this open data stuff. And it's actually because of that diversity that the group is actually as strong as it is. We'll fill out a Freedom of Information Act request. Wait two or three weeks. Our community yeah. is a kind of a community of builders, of doers. And when you have a community that sort of keeps churning out new applications and new ideas and new innovations, that continues to bring more and more people in. And I think that is really the engine that kind of keeps things going. And I think that feeds into the reason that this thing keeps getting bigger. And I see it getting bigger, uh, you know, for years to come.